Hi and welcome to another video on UiPath with me, Jeppe. In this one we're going to count down my 10 favorite keyboard shortcuts in UiPath Studio. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course you're welcome to hit the like button and the notification bell as well. So let's get to it. In the number 10 spot we have F2. And that is used to delay the selection of an element on the screen. So if we, for example, have the Windows calculator and we want to switch from standard to scientific, then we have a couple of click activities here. And in the first one, we'll select the menu itself. And then in the second one, we want to select the menu item, but we can't select that because it's hidden. If I press the F2 key now, it'll give me a few seconds with the normal mouse pointer. And then the selection indicator comes back and now I can click scientific. So that's how the delay selection shortcut works. At number nine, we have a very simple one, Control L, and that will simply give you quick and easy access to the folder where the log files are stored, like that. In number eight, we have Shift F2, Shift and F2. And what that does is that if you're on an activity and press that shortcut, it adds an annotation to that shortcut. So that's Shift F2. In spot number seven, we have the pause key. And the pause key is a little used key on my keyboard at least, except for when using it in UiPath Studio, because during debugging or execution of an automation, if I press the pause key, it will pause at the next activity. And then you can do evaluation of whatever you need to do, and then you can continue execution. So that's the pause key. In the number six spot, we have a very simple one, Control F1, Control F1, and that will show and hide the ribbon to give you just a little bit more screen real estate when developing. So Control F1. And in number five, we have Control Alt A, and that will show you the properties panel if you've set that to auto hide. Control Alt A. At number four, we have Control T, Control T, and that will take whatever activity you have selected and wrap it inside the try block of a try catch activity. So Control T for that. And if you're unfamiliar with the try catch activity, I have a video on that and I'll link to that at the end of this one. Control T. At number three, we have one that I use many times every single day, and that is F9. F9 will toggle a breakpoint on the activity that you're on. And now it's active. Now it's there, but disabled. And now it's gone. So F9 to toggle a breakpoint on an activity. In second place, we have Control D and Control E. And what they will do is Control D will wrap whatever activity you have selected inside a comment out activity. And that means that any activity inside of that comment out activity will be ignored when executed. And with the comment out activity selected, if you hit Control E, that activity will be activated again. So that's Control D and Control E. And finally, in the number one spot, for me at least, is F5 and F6. And especially F5 because that runs the current automation in debug mode. And being someone who's developed a lot in Microsoft Visual Studio, that key is something I've used a lot. And then the F6 key, which is a little twist on the F5 key, which is you run the current file in debug mode. So F5 runs the entire project in debug mode. F6 runs the current file in debug mode. So this was my quick top 10 of keyboard shortcuts in UiPath Studio. I know it wasn't exactly rocket science, but hopefully you get something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel for more videos, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I publish something. Thanks for watching, stay safe.